I have to change guitar strings, but I don't have any guitar strings here. So I need to go to the store. Let's, let's go. Gotta plug my laptop in. Let's go buy some guitar strings. Hey, hey. Hey, Jimmy, how are you? Good. So, gonna head to Guitar Center and get some strings for my acoustic. I got some strings last time, but I did not like them. They were a cheaper brand, and I thought, hey, they'll probably be good. They were not good. They've only been on for a few weeks, and they already feel like they've been on there for years. They kinda have this grimy, kinda rock feel. I don't think that's a great way to explain what I'm trying to say, but it's horrible. So let's head to Guitar Center. I like buying stuff online. That is the way to go. I usually buy all my stuff online to get shipped to me, but there is something special about going into a store and getting exactly what you need right then and there. One of the things I see happening is that, especially in our area, our mall is just shriveling up. Stores are leaving. The stores that come in are kind of like these generic stores that you're like, I don't even know what this brand is. And it seems that big companies like Amazon are changing the way people shop. More and more people are buying stuff online. There's something special about it because when you receive a package, you see a package it's like Christmas, you get to open it and it's just socks or whatever you ordered. But um, a day like today, I need guitar strings. I need them now, I need them right now. That's something that I don't think, can Amazon do that? I think there's an Amazon now, I don't know. Maybe I should have thought about this before I started talking about it. So I'm at the guitar shop, I'm gonna buy some guitar strings, then I'm gonna go back and put them on because I don't have to wait on delivery. Let's do it. My car sings to me, let's go. We got a line, the clerk is on the phone. Maybe shopping online would be quicker. Hello. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Even with the line, still wasn't that bad. 10 minutes max. Three sets of strings. Now let's go put them on. All right. Let's put on some guitar strings. literally have to take my guitar out of the case because I can't carry the weight of my guitar and the case. So I gotta do it like this. So, back in my office, now I'm going to change the strings on my guitar. Here we go. Little gizmo. It's got the little curly thing in it so you can turn your tuning knobs. It also has the little plucking thing to pluck out the whatever those are called. And it's got snips. Snip off the strings when you're done. First step, take off the strings. Pull this 
things out. Alright, time for these. This is a Taylor 414CE. Got a really good deal on it. It's got some dents on it, but it sounds really good with the right strings. I made a mistake by buying cheaper strings and they died way too quick. So, I got the Elixir Nano Web, which is what I have always used. cranked it to what I thought was E. <laughs> no tricks. Let's look at this. I literally just guessed. It's already stressed out a little bit. It was right on E. That's amazing. It's amazing because I don't have perfect pitch. So, anyways, now I'm gonna tune it up. I was really close on that one too.